Okay, so uh, a lot of people have been asking me about tools and um, techniques. What kind of markers, what kind of chalk, how does the chalk work, what's the best materials. So I'm going to show you everything that I use to draw cars, and then I'm going to do an individual video on each one of those. So the first thing is paper. Um, this is a special paper called vellum paper, and um, it's sort of like tracing paper. It's like really thick tracing paper, so you can see, like you can kind of see underneath it. It's pretty nice stuff. So you'll want to find vellum paper. It's um, kind of expensive, but if you can't find vellum, you don't want to afford it, just get plain old tracing paper to start with. Um, it's not going to turn out real good, but it's going to help you with some of the perspective and some of the actual design work. Um, for now, just get some plain old um, copier paper. That's going to work fine for a lot of what we're going to do today. So that's the first thing. Um, next, a plain old Bic pen for sketching. Um, never underestimate the power of a good old fashioned Bic pen. It works fine. Don't really recommend pencils. Um, pencils are going to start smudging once you render and honestly the Bic um, pens or just a plain old pen helps you really get a good kind of flow with your sketching. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Um, markers. All right, so these are Prismacolor, Prismacolor brand markers. Um, they've got a thick tip on one end and a skinny tip on the other. Um, these are great markers and I've had this whole set for almost 10 years and they're still working pretty well except for the most popular colors like black and red. Um, there's also another brand of markers called Tria. Tria is the same concept. It has a thick end on one side, um, a thin end, medium side on this end, and then another tip with a tiny little precise one. Uh, warning, these are really expensive. Um, Prismas are less expensive. You can buy them in packs, but you'll want to invest in these because they're going to last you a long time and they're way better quality than regular old markers. So get a set of Prisma colors. You won't regret it. Uh, next, colored pencils. Um, any brand will do if you have something and you're just starting out, but I got Prisma brand um, colored pencils because they're going to match with the colors and uh, they're really nice quality. Next um, is the chalk. Now this is the type of chalk that we use. The, the basic process is that you get your chalk and uh, you're going to start shaving some powder and then you're going to want to get a um, Weebrel pad which is essentially like a really nice tissue and you roll it up and that's how you get some of the um, sort of paint mimicking effects with chalk. So this is not pastels, not oil pastels. Um, it's not the stuff that you would go to the, uh, go downtown and draw the Mona Lisa on a sidewalk. This is actual chalk like you would use, um, you know, it feels like chalk, but it comes in all different colors. And there's lots of different brands, but uh, make sure you maybe you want to stick with Prismacolor brand. This is really cheap, a whole different color set, and you can blend them together and uh, maybe even mix with baby powder to help it um, apply a little bit better if you're using regular uh, notebook paper. So they can come in uh, all different shapes and sizes and um, here's a whole set of uh, a bunch of different color pastels. So make sure you get some of those and um, an X-Acto knife so that you can shave the chalk. Um, the Weebrel pads you can use, um, I've used Kleenex before, but uh, these are like these Weebrel pads are pretty nice. They're like um, cotton. They feel kind of like a t-shirt. Uh, drafting brush, just kind of brush things off. That helps so you don't have to actually touch the uh, touch your work. Uh, a good eraser, important. And then lastly, that part where I do the white highlights, you're gonna wanna get something called gouache. Um, gouache is like really nice white out. It's just a really thin paint. And actually what you're gonna do is put a little bit in a tray and then water it down. Mix it about 50-50 with water. Uh, because then when you stir it up and you apply it, you'll want a really thin brush as well, something like that kind of thin. Um, that's how you're going to get those really nice uh, highlights when you are on the last step of your, uh, of your rendering. So these are the most basic uh, tools that you're going to need. Uh, again, if you can't find this exact product, you can always order it online, or um, a lot of this stuff is carried at art supply stores, um, especially like in cities or any big kind of um, arts and crafts supply. Uh, place online or um, on Amazon. You can get just about everything. So that's basically what you're going to need. So let's take a look at each individual material and see how it works in designing our car.